Okay, so I got a couple of me emails here in order to try and address the whole Angry Joe situation, or at least give my input to whatever the hell is going on with him. I'll make it short and sweet because there's not really a lot I can say positively about his actions in disabling the comments and the likes and dislikes here on YouTube and, and whatnot, because what you're doing is you're cutting off the connection between you and your audience. That's the one thing you don't want to do when trying to be a professional or a highly successful or recognized YouTuber is to cut off all is to cut off your shit between what makes you you and what makes you you and makes you popular is your audience. You have to appeal to your audience in order to try to keep them interested or keep them coming back for something. And the fact that you would go ahead and disable comment sections like you don't want them to be engaged in your work because you can't take the criticism, that's bullshit. That's, no, that's, that's bullshit of the bullshit. Like seriously. You should be able to be man enough by now to be able to handle constructive or negatively placed criticism. I mean shit. I mean I've been around, I've been in this game since 2015, April 2015. And I've seen a whole bunch of criticism come back and forth easily on my channel because of the shit that I try to post in my own respect. I don't try to make drama, but there are some content, there is some content that I've made that does ensue drama. And I own that because it is a video that I unfortunately respectfully put out there that does stew controversy or stirs dislike. And when the more you go on in this world, you're not doing something right if there isn't somebody in the world that doesn't hate you just for the laughs or giggles of it or hate you because of a difference in perspective. And it's childish to go ahead and cut off the comment section like you don't want to hear anything good or bad about what it is you're doing or based off of past or most recent decisions or actions taken or words that have been said. And I find that to be just very childish and immature, especially coming from a very mature YouTuber such as Angry Joe that has his whole career based off of input and criticism though it may sound negative it is a constructive sense when when going through these things I don't know I'm just I'm just taken aback by this somewhat and what bothers me even more is the premise of the whole subbing and unsubbing because you want to try and reach the 3 million marker knowing the bullshit that, that you're trailing right now. I was like, if people don't like the content or, you don't, or you're worried about them liking your content, then fuck them. I mean, the, the like and dislike or unsubscribe button is right there. They're free to unsubscribe and go follow somebody else or go bullshit somebody else just because they can't find satisfaction in what you're doing or find the pros and the cons as quickly or because they're impatient. The unsubscribe button is right there. You can piss off and go to somebody else if you don't want to wholeheartedly wait and allow the person you want to see to respectfully make their content in their own time. That way they can appease everybody and get their point across by staying on a consistent schedule of their own make. Not from what, what anybody else wants or wants to try to keep pushing because they're impatient. There's too many impatient fuckers in the world already as it is. But I will get, but like I said, I gave my two cents on this. Uh, whether or not I agree or disagree with what it is he's doing, we gotta wait and see until he decides to start doing more with his YouTube channel or you doing more with his work and making more reviews come later on in the year. Anyway, you can leave a like, dislike, whatever it is with the thing down below. Peace.